um, and I see Tom, safe space students are the same kids that are anti-bullying. They don't realize that they've become bullies with words. Oh, absolutely. And if you watch, again, the videos uh, from Yale University, it's, it, it, is a, it looks like a, a bullying mob. This guy is standing here. He's saying, please talk to me. Please, let's have this conversation. Please, one at a time, I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. People are yelling. At one point, some student just gets up right in his face. Um, and these are the safe space people, which absolutely is insane because there's nothing there's nothing safe by that it used to be that the people who were culturally culturally connected to the incident got offended yeah no it, that's true now it's the, it, there is a lot of white people getting offended on behalf of others um and i, I just don't understand you know don't get offended on behalf of somebody else's somebody else's stuff okay college is so expensive and instead of learning things there's actually a lot of an environment where learning is being hindered because only certain points of view are okay and guess what there's a lot more than just the social justice tyrannical point of view out there and if you're even if you're, if you're surround people who people i see people saying there's no safe space for conservatives conservatives are going to come out of this better because they're going to know how to defend their arguments because they're going to have been exposed to other arguments than their own. And if they're having a conversation with somebody who has a different argument, they will have been exposed to that and they'll know how to have a discussion. This is almost hurting the students who agree with it more because if they're ever presented with an argument that they disagree with, all they have to do is say, you're violating my safe space. You're violating my safe space. And all of a sudden, you know, they they run to the safe space. They have the campus counselors because it's tequila and a sombrero or somewhere on the, in the same place on a campus or someone who said it has to resign. They've never had to go through defending their argument. So ironically, this is going to hurt them even more than it is the students who are conservative. They're, they're, it, it really is because they're never going to hurt. They're going to get out in the real world and they're gonna say, wait, somebody doesn't care that I'm upset somebody or wait somebody disagrees I've never heard that point of view before I don't know how to respond to it because I was in a place where somebody expressing a point of view different than mine than mine nobody nobody um nobody ever allowed me or I didn't allow myself to be exposed to that so um hi every some those of us who are just joining if you have any questions I'm we're having a having a wrap up pretty soon um say what how do people get fired over this well to be fair i mean people they they do get fired but at, at the story of the university of yale they basically had to resign over the pressure and if you watch the videos in my latest article you'll see why um all it was it was about was halloween costumes this guy's wife said i really don't think that it is the college administration's job to be policing these adult students Halloween costumes. I think that's a very logical take. But it blew up and you have to watch these videos to understand why they resigned. There's students screaming at them, or screaming that he, this guy, he supported his wife and they both had to resign. You can see in the video students screaming at him, getting in his face, saying you make me sick, I'm disgusted that you work at this university. I mean, it, it was it was a horrible, they, they had to resign over, over this. It, this wasn't a safe space and that he really tried to say i understand your feelings and have the kind of conversation they claim to be wanting but claims the operative word because really they just don't want to be around anybody who disagrees with them i remember you saying you couldn't get a job in politics because you dress as poke pocahontas as a child that's true there are photos that i really hope never get leaked of me as a seven-year-old dressed as pocahontas for halloween I am not of Native American ancestry, and so now I can never run for president, and it's it's very, very sad. So people screaming at you doesn't mean you have to quit. That's true. It doesn't mean you do, but there was a lot of pressure going on elsewhere, um, just just massive pressure throughout campus to the point where a lot of these students that were yelling at him were students, and it kind of became, it looks to me like it kind of became impossible for him to be able to do his job because uh, these students didn't want to learn from him. Uh, he or, or he wasn't able to do his job because it was such a distraction. 